This is the book of St. Luke, chapter 20, verse 20. And they watched him and sent forth spies, which should find themselves just men, that they might take hold of his words, that so they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. So first and foremost, giving our praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Okar Kodash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akin worldwide that are sincere and serious in doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Okar Kodash. Second Peter chapter one verse one and two to you all. Yes, so I'm the disciple Kosha Banyamin. So like here. And um let me read the scripture again. Saint Luke chapter twenty verse twenty. And they watched him and sent forth spies which should feign themselves just men, that they might take hold of his words. That so they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. So now this lesson is an after camp observation. Last night, when I left camp, you see I got to camp late first. So um, I still went out after I finished. They were had to do it and I can't lay it. Um anyhow, um I went to camp, do what I had to do. So um at the end of camp, right? At the end of camp, um I packed up my belongings and uh I was there conversing with uh, one of the brothers that's come down, huh? Well, two of the brothers there, I was conversing with them. So, all of a sudden, now before you say that, now there's a group of old men and a, a group of mixed middle aged men and some of the young men too. That is, be a couple feet away from me playing drafts, right? Every day, every day they be playing drafts. You can find it there every day, especially from the side, right? So after camp now, when they packed up, he was conversing, I heard a scream. You see? So we looked around and we saw we saw two youngsters robbing an elderly woman. Now mind you this elderly woman before I before I uh, ended camp, she passed right in front of the camp and she looked right at me. See? Looked right in my eyes, you see? And she walked and went down. Alright, there's a bus stop on the other side of the road, further down. Right, she was there sitting down. So, we heard a scream, we looked around, we saw two two young men robbing this elderly woman. Right, and she was screaming, no. She she ran behind these men, but you know she she's, she's an older woman, so she can't keep up with them. So she came back to the bench, still screaming. Still screaming, and um, we notice we are we learn how many notice and pay attention to was the same men that was there playing drafts, right? I can't give a figure how much men this be, but there's be a lot, huh? Every day, especially on the Saturday, I noticed I saw two men walk over to the elderly woman, right? And they were talking with her. And then in less than two minutes, I saw an unmarked police vehicle come toward those men, right? They got in the vehicle along with the elderly woman and they drove off. Those two men were playing close police officers. Hiding in plain sight a couple yards from me, so called pretending to be playing drafts or having a conversation. You see? No, I could be wrong. I could be reading too much into things, but I know what I saw 
last night. My eyes was fixated on the elderly woman. She was screaming all the time. And I saw those two men walk up to, to that woman. And they were talking before. And in less than two minutes, a police, an unmarked police vehicle came. And that elderly woman and those two men got in the vehicle and they sped off. You see? So this is an after count observation. We being watched. You see? We being watched. So this word for watch. Strong's G3906. Para te reo. Para te reo. To inspect alongside. I.e. not insidiously or scrupulously observe watch. So these men was doing just that. Scrupulously. In a very careful and thorough way. You see? Right? With great effort to avoid doing wrong. Yeah, because they don't want to be, uh, uh, um, they don't want to blow the cover, so to speak, huh? They don't want to blow the cover. But, as, as I told you, when the lady screamed, right, those two men walked over to her. You see? To stand beside and watch, to watch assiduously, observe carefully, and this is what, I can't tell you how long these men were there how many weeks these men were there but i told i did a video a while back right a bird of the matter let me get that a bird will tell you the matter wait a minute a bird will tell you the matter or oh, a minute man it was told to me that someone comes down every saturday and watches me preaching the word of the lord you understand Oh, strain a minute, man. Right? There's one that says a bird of the ear will tell you the matter. You just gotta be here, no? Ecclesiastes 10 and 20. This gotta be here, no? Let me see here. Ecclesiastes 10 and 20. There's a here, yes. Can't to worry about by Shimia, which I curse not the king. No, not in thy thought. A curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. For a bird of the ear shall carry the voice, and that which have wings shall tell the matter. So, yo. God allow you how about Shem Yavashai that he showed me that yesterday. He showed me that yesterday at camp. You know what I mean? After camp, so like he showed me that yesterday after, after camp, right? That um, spies are among us to a watch attend to with the eyes of auguries to see what he is going to do in a bad sense to watch insidiously. I wonder what this word insidiously mean, right? In a groove, insidiously. In a gradual, subtle way, but with harmful effects. Oh dear, no. But with harmful effects. So now, let me go back here. Because what they're imagining to do? They're imagining mischief, right? They're imagining mischief. And um, they're devising, they're devising my hurt. You see? Devise my hurt. Psalms 35 and 4. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. You see? And that order had to come from the higher ups. You see? It had to come from the higher ups. You see? But at the end of the day, the Lord's will is being done. You see? I have to drink the cup. You understand? Um, let the laws will be done. You see? Psalms 41 and 7. 
all that hit me whispered together against me against me do they devoid my hurt yeah those old men always um they always have something to say regarding god etc and whenever you walk and come down there the mood has changed man the, 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 you know what i mean that look here there look, look, look here there walking coming down there look the mood has changed man you say you know what i mean like when they saw um when they saw the prophet samuel um comes down peaceably you get that there man comes down peaceably So be watchful, brothers. You know what I mean. I mean, when it was this thing longer than me, so you know what I mean. This day should be new to you. You know what I mean. Come and thou peaceably. You get that scripture there and close. First Samuel sixteen. First Samuel sixteen um, uh, four and Samuel did that which the Lord Yahweh spirit again to Bethlehem and the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou peaceably? This is a prophet Samuel, yeah. <laughs> you coming peaceably, big man, you say? Because those same men was there when when um I was attacked at camp last year. I believe it was last year or year before. You say? But yeah, uh, uh, so called Edomite. I believe it's an Edomite. It could be wrong. You know what I mean? But those same men were there. You say? They was next to me at that time, but now they moved. The Lord had to move further down. You see? And those same men were there. So you never know what they're thinking, what they're saying. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, what are devising? You say? What, 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 um, what the planning say? You never know. You know what I mean? So they just uh, uh after care observation. You know what I mean? What I observed to the spirit of Lord Yahweh by Hashem You know what I mean? <clears throat> um, let's get one more preset here. One that I saw here that was very um. Yes, this is here. Psalms 37, 32. The wicked watch of the righteous and seek if to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand nor condemn him when he is judged. You say? So, hey, you know what I mean? They gonna do what they gonna do. You say? Isaiah 29 and 20. For the terrible one is brought to naught and the scorner is consumed and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. That make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reprove him in the gate, and that's what the law is made supposed to do, right? I turn aside the just for a thing of naught. You see? Meaning what you, you sell your soul for what? You said you 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 coming against you get one more scripture here. You coming against the many Lord for what? For, for uh, Isaiah twenty eight, it says that you have sold yourselves for naught. Galatians 4 and 16. I may therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth. You see that? It's only through the grace and mercy of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that um, I'm out there doing His will and plan to be until my end or the end, regardless of what happens. You see? Regardless of what happens. You know what I mean? But, spies up there, you know what I mean? Um, just be watchful, huh? And stay prayed up. Bakhtai Aoba Shemyo Shai.